Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another video tutorial on the Monogram Wizard Plus, presented today by Needleheads. Today we're going to talk about motifs. What are they and how to use them? Well, motifs are defined as the embellishments that you use and go along with your monogram or lettering that you're trying to accomplish to make a unique and very characteristic design. Our motif packs will be listed in the first drop-down box each pack contains several different motifs. Coming standard with the program are 11 different motif packs for a combination of over 200 different motifs. So we have Celtic, Circles, Diamond, Ends, Ends Plus, Freestyle, MC, Ends and Unders, Scrolly Frame, Shapes, Unders, and Wreaths. The four here I skipped, S-Way Block, SY Cursive, SY Italic, and SY Serif are your special characters motif packs, allowing you to add those special characters into alphabets that don't have them. To select a motif, it's very simple. You just choose the pack you want. From the next drop down list, you choose which motif out of that pack you want to do. So if we just choose Circles 1, for instance, you see the Circles first circle motif. We can jump through here and just run them to see what else is available. A complete picture listing of all motifs can be found on your CD of the program. If you go to your DVD drive and view the files on there, you'll see a PDF here that says Wiz Plus Motifs. That motif listing in a PDF format allows you to view them on the screen or print them out so that you can more easily choose the right motif for the design. So if we go back here to our Wizard Plus we can build a monogram. Let's do that by selecting Freestyle and then in Freestyle we're going to select Freestyle number 7. The Freestyle pack is more of a design pack inside your motifs adding not necessarily your traditional just little embellishments on the sides of your monogram, but, but giving your monogram a whole different look and feel. We can go down here in our initials box. As you see, I've already entered an R, a K, and a B. And if we select our initials box, you'll see those initials come up on the screen. Right then and there, that's a beautiful monogram. A little positioning uh, might make it a little tighter and neater, but you could say that, sew that out, save it, and it would be an excellent monogram. But what can we also do that we've learned in a previous lesson? We can go up to our monogramming styles and choose one of the monogramming styles to kind of add a little extra flair to it, whichever you'd like to do. Personally, I think in this monogram, this monogram style, the first one on the second row here, works best. That way it fills up the area, and now you have a very neat and traditional fun monogram. We click Save, we export our stitch file, we sew it out. Once again, thanks for tuning in to another video tutorial here on the Monogram Wizard Plus.